Welcome back friends from the team of Teach Nagaland. So once again I request all to please help us reach more and more subscribers so that we can reach out to more students in Nagaland and beyond. Now we'll continue with question number 54 in PSC prelims 2018. Now this is a question which is from class 10 syllabus that is about polynomials. So now before we go for that our concept <clears throat> I'll just give you the concept because once the concept is clear any solution can be done the main concept main concept is like for a cubic polynomial that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d such that a should not be zero we will have like three roots three zeros like quadratic equation among generally class 10 there will be quadratic equation like this is a new not a new question but uncommon question so quadratic equation was equal to ax square plus bx plus c so there we used to have like two zeros that is alpha and beta so now for cubic polynomial we will have like three zeros alpha beta and gamma so now there is this concept that the sum of the three zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus of b by a comparing the coefficients and there's another concept that is product of the three zeros is minus of d by a now here it is already there's one more concept but i'll just fix on this particular fix on this particular question and for which this is enough this concept is enough now Comparing the coefficients, our given polynomial here is like p of x that is given to us is our polynomial is x cubed minus 2x square minus 5x plus 6. So if we compare the coefficients, a will be 1, b hobo minus 2, c minus 5, and d will be 6. And our zeros that is given to us like alpha beta rb koi so that we do not know so we will assume beta is given two zeros actually dig in as so we'll assume that to be beta and gamma one one or a minus two one minus two so we'll use this concept that is alpha into beta into into ilikidivo gamma equal to minus of d by a so alpha we don't know beta to one gamma minus 2 equal to d to 6 minus of 6 divided by a so alpha will be minus 6 divided by minus 2 that is 3 so it's a very simple question for any student who knows the concept thank you signing off from teach now and okay now let us try to solve question number 58 from the team of teach now and Question number 58 states, A and B together can finish a piece of work in 4 days. That means A and B to me like that, charging the work is done. Well, A alone can do it in 6 days. And A do choy din di taik laba pari. Now the question is, it the same kam, A and B do you me like that, charging the work is done. B bar bhi ek laba ki man din di khatam kore ho pari ho. Now, Concept is very simple. Like a to tai choi din di kam kore wo parishe pole in one day. A can finish one by sixth of the work done. Kani choi din di kam kore she pole like one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can finish it in six days each part na choi din di al ek tai tai ta part khutam kore wo parayda. Mane ek din di tai one out of six kam khutam kore wo parayvo. Aro question di dekhi na ase ke a aro b combine kore gina char din di khutam kore wo parayda. Mane a aro b combine kore she pole char din di kam to khutam kore wo parayda. Mane that means a and b combined ek din di one by fourth, one by fourth, one by fourth kam khutam kore wo parayda. That is like in one day a and b can finish one by four of the work then for one day it's very simple for one day a laga kam or b laga kam tai do jumi line na one by fort khatam koru pore now a laga kam do le a to koi na se like same kam to a ba kori shole one out of 
six tai choi din lagi wo that means ek din laga one by six part of the work will be done b laga do man ni jani we will have to find out to this is a simple question no so like for example like <clears throat> aman dos din de let's let's say char din de aman char tap let's say char din de aman for example like char tap back book is that means if you find out the ratio ek din de ek tak tap back book is na aman chaul do to koi gina se ke a aro b tai din me lai gina ek tak kam do char din de khatam koro pare that means tai din la me lai gina ek din de tai din 1 by 4 of the work is done for both of them combined aro a laga individual work to digna se ke 1 2 3 4 5 6 so he can finish it in 6 days that same work so that means in one day a can finish one by six of that same work done so now the question says how in how many uh, b in how many days can b also finish the work so we will use this equation that a and b combined together can finish in one day one by fourth of the work done so a he can finish one by sixth of the work b that we will find out so b will be one by four minus one by six so if we take the lcm four and six two twos are four two threes are six two one three so two is a four four threes are twelve so lcm is twelve four threes are twelve minus six twos are twelve so b is equal to one by twelve now what does that mean that means like in one day amani to one day lag or less now one day b to one by twelve of the work he can finish that means what that means one by twelve ek din di one by twelve kam kutu um kore upare that means that twelve they stay full come to complete kore upare so that means b takes 12 days so the idea is very simple we just have to find out the amount fraction of the work done thank you signing off from teach now let's continue with question number another two question again the next pair of letters in this given series now in question number 113 the next pair of letters in the series now whenever we get this questions try to read through the questions properly and you should keep your calm because no need to hurry up because like it's better to get one question correct rather than uh, mess up two three questions because of our carelessness now this question if you can see a f so now it's like if you just write on quickly jot down the letters like a b c d e f now here in this we will see that after a and f occurs after four letters between four letters b c d e continuingly that is after next d e f g h i so the same pattern continues here also again that is after four letters next again g h i j k l again after four letters so that means the next two letters combination also will be in between four letters now what from which letter should we start that will be now again again if we have a look here a b c after two letters the next first letter comes we are not should not be very much concerned with what happens in the next pattern here uh, the last digits after d again after two letters comes g that means after g after another two letters will come our next letter that is j so that would be j k l m n after four letters o so our next combination will be j o that is our option c would be the correct answer again again i repeat after every four letters the letters are combined paired up that is a and f d and i g and l and for the next letter to begin we can see that it happens after two letters of the first every first letter of the first of the respective pairs that is a after two letters b c d so d comes next d e f two letters then comes g so after another two letters h i it will begin with j continuing on with question number 140 that is in a triangle a b c angle a equal to 3 times of b angle a is b equal to 2 times of angle c then angle a so for that again class 7 8 theorem that is in a triangle what happens is 
we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree i think this theorem would prove enough so now a we can just replace with a so no need to write down the angles here because our concern is just simply get just getting the solutions because this is not theoretical this is just objective so it doesn't matter how you denote so the notifications won't exactly matter here so no need to waste time in writing down angles and so on angle a three times of c angle b two times of c plus angle c equal to 180 degree so if we add if we add all the letters so there will be three four five six six times of c equal to 180 degrees so c will be equal to 180 divided by six that will be 30 degree so angle a we are told to find angle a now angle a is given to us here that is three times of angle c that will be three times of angle c that will be three into 30 degrees so that will be equal to 90 degrees so it was a very simple question based on simply one theorem that sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree so that's what I mean again, like uh, for any students preparing for NPSC examinations and all, it's good if we can, if you can kindly go to the textbooks of class 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So that will really help you because you will get some basic questions, some certain formulas which we tend to forget. So thank you. Signing off from Teach Nagaland.